Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Mitch. Back in action. Okay, well, I thought I, I thought I'd let you know that just yesterday it finally came. Finally came. Let me back off so you can see all of it. Finally came. The one sixteen scale flatbed trailer finally came. Now, when I looked into it. Like I said, first for starters, here's how here's how to here's how it goes. These are the trucks that are um, that uh, that pretty much go with it, even though the truck and the trailer are sold separately. That's me, by the way, kind of sort of. What I'm planning on doing with this, like I said, I'm gonna do a, a split axle, which involves me cutting right here at the center here. And I'm going to have to make another cut right here. Now, the reason I'm doing this right center cut right here is that I don't want this too wide. I don't, uh, don't want the uh, axles too far apart because I am going to put uh, storage boxes uh, between each axle on each side. Now, when I looked at this trailer, uh, I determined the length of the trailer. The trailer is about the same length as a tractor. And... <laughs> that generally wouldn't look good to me. I don't know about anybody else. It's not a good look. But anyway, I'm going to give it a quick open real quick, if I can do this with one hand. You know what? I'll tell you what. We're going to do it this way. Because evidently I cannot do it with two hands. <coughs> As I'm opening this up, 116 scale, right here came yesterday. And I keep saying that. <laughs> when I open it up, as I'm going to not, I opened the previously to inspect the inspected parts. Uh, like I said, uh, it's not getting the uh, uh, the uh, the red red Dayton uh, uh, rent, uh, rims. I got I'm using these that I, can't, uh, that I got off my uh, previous 116 scale KW from six years ago, and I'm going to use the uh, I'm going to use these. All the parts that I can see are are, are here. All I can see is here. Um, I got to use the inner, inner inner rims, but I'm I'm missing one. I don't know what happened to it. I'm missing one, along with the um, piece to uh, insert into the axle. See, see see the difference right here, and this right here, that little piece that goes right there. It's just right behind there, if you can see it. And I'm missing a few pieces off there, but I'm gonna have to improvise and compensate. But everything seems to be in order. Uh, the uh, the uh, seller, who was quite uh, quite uh, very informed, by the way, to let him know to find out if there's anything missing. Which, you know, if there was anything missing, hey, I can always fabricate it. You make me fabricate it. That's no big deal. I just wish I could make another one of these. Because I'm missing one. And I don't know what to do. <clears throat> but on the other hand, if anybody's building one of these and you have an extra one, please let me know. I'll buy it. Along with two of these. They, uh, that uh, fit in here is for the uh, for, uh, for the axle. So if you got if you got extras, please let me know. I will buy them. I'm just getting every, I'm just getting all the parts and aftermarket parts set up for this, and I'm have to uh, determine the accuracy of a 50 excuse me a 53 foot flatbed. But I'm I'm. So excited I got! So excited I got it! Can't wait to get started on it. But of course, 
that has to be, the truck has to be finished first. And then there's this. Oh, and I need I need somebody I need everybody's help on this one. Here's what I, here's what I did for this is the one twenty fifth scale KW. Here's what I want. Here's what I thought about doing. I uh, broke open two kits. Of course, this is the uh, for the uh, the original kit. I did start cutting it. I did start cutting it. But here's what I want to do, what I thought about doing. I was going to either go with the old body style, which is this right here, or I was going to find a way, find a way to put the new, this is the new, new hood and everything like that, see, like that. Put this, uh, put the new, newer body style hood on this frame. Now this came from a different manufacturer. I think this is uh, AMT. And uh, I was going to do some little, I guess you can call it kit bashing. Kit bashing, is that what you can call it? But anyway, I thought about either going with, uh, going with uh, the newer body style or going with the old body style. Either way, I was going to uh, expand a sleeper into a uh, studio sleeper. And there's certain parts in here that not realistic, not realistic to me at all. Uh, this being one, the uh, chrome fifth wheel. No. Um, let me see. Um, well, yeah. All chrome. Um, uh, splash guards. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that makes sense. And, uh, and the reason, pretty much the reason why I want, I want because I, I, uh, this came off a of Canapa, Kenworth, Canapa, Ken, something from AMT. And uh, unfortunately, I threw the box away. I was sorting, uh, sorting through the box and I'm uh, picking out parts that I thought I could use or I thought I need. But the, this is the side skirt right there, which I, if I'm going to turn it into a Studio sleeper, I do need to stretch the side skirts, which the, here's both of them. I'm going to have to stretch those out. I did not like the chassis for the Kenneth Kenworth because it was old. It was very old. The suspension, old. No airbags, no shocks, no nothing. And it was, I think I still have it. Check out this mess. Oh, yeah, here's the uh, chassis. I haven't seen this underside cradle, whatever this piece is, in a long time. Nobody does this anymore. And this came off the newer model, body style, than, uh than the one, uh, than, uh, than the other one. Now, let me go on further. Now, uh, here it is. That's the suspension. That is old, that is, <laughs> that is vintage suspension right there. No shocks, no airbags, no nothing. I, I pretty much forgot, I mean, I know these are uh, leaf springs, uh, torsion, uh, su torsion support bar thing, right? But I forgot what, I forgot what this, Forgot with these bar, uh, with these two bars that's holding up the uh, the uh, differentials, but that's that's not going to work for me, and, and neither is this. And I got this thing when it was somebody already assembled it with some kind of glue that I can't figure out what. But I decided not to go with the chassis. And I decided not to go with the uh, and, and the engine too. Oh my goodness, the engine. Yeah. No, no. Chrome oil pan, which I guess, you know, probably would make sense if it was a show truck. But this is your typical old, I think it's a Caterpillar, or it might be a Cummins. I'm not sure. But it's an old inline V6. Old, old inline six cylinder. It's not a V6. And 
Whoever was putting this together, I mean, I guess he decided to look at it and say, you know what, I don't want this no more. <laughs> and so that is that. And uh, what, what else? I don't throw parts. I don't throw. I'll throw parts and plastic away. So it's, it's going in what I call my um, recycle. Uh, my, my recycle box. Oh, there's a. Oh, I can use this. This is a. Uh, this is a battery. We keep. I'm gonna save that. I can use that. And. Uh, these look like shocks. If there are, it's just, I know it's only for the front. And this is the um, steer axle right here, which eh, you could you couldn't you couldn't make that turn if you wanted to. That's you just no, you have to you have to create a whole you have to make your whole um, make your own spindle for that. And then there's the uh, KW mud flaps, which I already bought aftermarket mud flaps, which aren't plastic. There, I think there's, there's some kind of some kind of material. I might I might show it. But what else I got here? I don't know. It's it looks like a. Uh, Something that pertains to the uh, power steering. No. And these are the old tanks for the 116s, which I'm not using. But, like I said, I've learned the hard way about throwing stuff away that you may need later, or maybe useful later. So I don't, I don't throw nothing away anymore. And whatever it is, I don't throw away. It turns into this. This is plastic. This is uh, from uh, uh, this is from broken pieces, tr uh, trees, sprues, uh, soaked in acetone for two days. Two, it takes it two days for it to soften up. And I use this. This is pretty much useful, by the way. I didn't realize how useful it was <clears throat> to uh, fill in gaps spaces that you would have a hard time with uh, putty. And the other thing about that is that it bonds very tightly to the existing plastic. It's like it, it kind of, it welds there. It, it, I mean, it really, it really holds. It really hold, it almost hold, probably holds a lot better than, I don't know, your, uh, your uh, model glues. Which that reminds me, I need to go get another two. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's it. That's it. And I'm glad I got to, glad it finally came in. This right here finally came in. And I'm and oh, for the one twenty four scale. If I did not show it, okay. If I did. Forgive me, I'm showing it again. This is the trailer for the 125th scale KW. It's a 53 foot trailer. Uh, I decided to make it into a reefer unit. I've already got decals coming in, uh, coming in for it. Let me turn this around. That's the reefer unit right there. I got uh, Thermal King decals uh, coming, uh, coming for that, and. I think other d d uh, detail that they neglected to put in there, like uh, like the refrigeration control panel, because you usually find it on the driver's side. It, uh, you regulate the, uh, the thermostat, the defrost, and the engine. Uh, it you pretty much uh, it pretty much controls anything, and I don't see it here. So that means I got so that means I got to create I got to create a control panel for this, and. Uh, Yeah. Now, what I also will say about the 124 scale that I'm doing, I did uh, get some aftermarket single tire, single tires 
not the, I mean, like, not the dual tires, which you normally see on these axles, but it's those, those are single wide tires, which it, which it has four tires in the back instead of eight. I on one hand got that, so I'm going to try that and see see how, see how I like it. If I like it, I'm going to put it on the truck. If I don't like it, then I'll use it for something. I'll, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> I'll use it for something else. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep that battery. And uh, I don't know if I've shown this or not. If I did, okay, I'm showing it again. There's the air cleaner. Both of them are finished. All they need is painting. All they need is painting, and the little clipping of the uh, ends of the. Uh, that mesh screen, and this thing is, and that, that mesh screen is very, very flexible, very flexible. So you got, so if you get that, you got to be careful with it. And uh, I did clean up. I did clean up the best I could. And believe me, in two days, it'll probably be uh, back the same way it was uh, two days ago. So, if I'm missing anything, I don't think so. Oh, I did I did get the decal. I paid $20 just for those two decals. The Monroe decals for my uh, other two Monroe shocks. $20 for just these two decals. I don't know if I can call myself silly, stupid, or desperate, or a combination of all three. But yeah, twenty dollars for two decals. Any, I guess, in my in my in, in my way of saying anything to complete and get this uh, get this truck to where I want it. So yeah, I got it. And now that I see it. Now I'm debating, I'm thinking about saying, well, maybe I just should have gone with one axle on each side. But now that I got it, I can go ahead and install the other axles as well. Okay, so, uh, that's about all I have. Oh, every time I say it, every time I find all I have, I, I always end up with an O because I always come up with something else. This is the bumper. This is the front bumper. I had to scratch build it also. And I got to put SMD lights all the way across here. I think, I, I don't know how many, I think it was like 20 something. 20 something, uh, 20 something holes right across here. With holes right here on the side, one here and one, and one there. And I got to redo it in Chrome. Because that means. Maybe I'm not doing it right, but the spastics is not working for me. It's not working for me. So I found another chrome uh, formula that uh, we'll we'll see how we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, the sprint this these spray on chromes is not working for me. <laughs> working for me. This is my TV. It's not finished. This is my TV that, I'm, uh, that, I, uh, that I made out uh, of uh, uh, tinted plexiglass. And wait a minute, there's a crack. Hold on. Okay. Scratch hold at everything. Now that I see that little crack right there on the end, now I gotta start over. Because I don't like. I don't, I don't like and probably, maybe you barely see it when you when you um, peek inside the truck, but I know it's messed up, and I don't want that. So now I gotta do a new TV. I gotta do a new TV, and this sucker was thick to cut. But I did get a solution for that because over there in the corner, I got a little mini. I got a little mini uh, table saw. And that thing is very useful. At the same time, it's quite messy. 
because you got dust and plastic flakes flying all over the place. What's your name? And uh, that's I'm and I'm, I would have to say that's about it. That's I did get a uh, visor for the 120, 125th scale because it doesn't because it doesn't come with one. And I think I'm going to use this. There's only two batteries though. There's only two batteries. Trucks nowadays have, uh, use as many as eight. Between four, about between four and eight. Only the box trucks, only the box trucks that those uh, dri uh, drive uh, drive and reefer vans use uh, probably use uh, two two batteries. And if I also did not show it, I'm gonna show it again. There's my fifth wheel. I do, I do have it managed to tilt a little. I do, do have the locking pin. I don't know if you can see that. The locking pin. I'll do it sideways. There it is. The locking pin and the locking latch. I do the locking latch. And plus it's, uh, it's airlines under, uh, inner last for me for the, uh, slide and the, um, with a slide and the um, um, I want to call it a lock jaw, but if somebody knows exactly what it is, because right now I got a brain disconnect right now, go ahead and tell me. What else I got to show off? Oh, yeah. There's a radiator. That's the AC condenser right there. That I, uh, that I had to uh, scratch bill from the last uh, truck's radiator. Here's my air valve, which <laughs> I don't think I've made anything this small before. I uh, went ahead and uh, took, uh, I captured a picture of a, off a real one. That, that mounts that mouse to the firewall. And uh, this is much, well, was all made out of uh, styrene rods, solid and ho solid and hollow. But yeah, that was, I never, that, I never scratch built anything that small. And this is my air connect, uh, air and uh, electrical connectors. Is a as a resin piece, and it's going to the back. Where I put it? Oh, okay, it's, okay, okay. I'm gonna get it. Okay, there's my uh, back, uh, back in that's, that's going to have lights going all the way across it. Two here, two here, which will probably one uh, one red light, the brake uh, the brake and uh, driving lights, or part, whatever you want to call them, and one backup light, and the rest of these going and about one of the smaller ones going all the way across, all the way across. The uh, tail portion, here. and this will go right here in the back. That's it. That's a, a space for the license plate, and this goes will go right here, just like that. Put this away so I don't lose it. Oh, I did, I did, okay, I saved the instructions. This is the, that's the counter for Kenworth that I, that I mentioned, AMT, which I don't like AMT. I don't really like MPC either. Everybody but those two. AMT, between the MPC and uh, AMT, AMT to me has to be the worst. My opinion.
from my experience. Don't like NPC either because usually their parts don't fit right. Again, my experience. And that's about it. So, that's, uh, I got the, um, oh, I did. I did put my air horn on, on the chassis. And that was my greatest accomplishment. And everything here. And oh, I also need somebody's input on this. Now, like I said, here's the bed. There's the desk. There's a sink with a, with a stove, which I haven't put on, which I haven't put on there yet. I haven't detailed yet. Microwave, refrigerator, refrigerator, freezer, master door handle, which I'm going to put on. There's a closet right there. And there's cabinet space, overhead cabinet space. That space right there at the window, I was going to I was going to uh, put a door there, but I decided against it because, well, to me it it, it pretty much wound up being I thought it would be a little, a little bit too much work, and I didn't want put, I didn't want to make the effort or put in the effort. So I got this space right here and don't know what to put there. If anybody can come up with a suggestion of what to put there. Because on this side, well, here I got the uh, bathroom, toilet, shower, and even bathroom tissue right there in the back. And I even got a soap dish. There's a soap dish right there with a shower and a uh, shower that comes with a massaging uh, shower head and towel and uh, towel rack. Now, this on this side right here, if you look. That long rod right there, I'm gonna put a sliding door on that on that uh, on that rod right there, sort of like a barn door. And right here, this space right here is where I'm putting these two these two captain's chairs. These two captain's chairs, one right here, one right here. They're not gonna stand up because they need to be glued down. With a uh, with a table, with with the table I got here that, that's gonna go up against the wall, or a uh, uh, wall of this uh, on this side. That's that's pretty much how it is. It's gonna be glued up against the wall, and that's about and that's about it. So yeah, if, if anybody can tell me what can I put in that space right there that's uh, useful, I would appreciate that. Yeah, something useful because that space right there is just space there's no utilization in that space and I did um, make the uh, mattress from my bed this mattress right here I haven't made the, I haven't made the uh, sheets and a um, pillow uh, pillowcase yet that's right there and that goes there and here's a pillow okay and here's the pillow, and I need to I need to uh, put in a pillowcase. Bed sheets, bed sheets are right there, and that's it. So yeah, please somebody tell me what would you do with that space right there when you decided not to install a door? I would I would like I would like to know because I'm out of a, I'm an idea hasn't flashed across my head yet. But that's it. So yeah, I got the decals for the other two shocks so I can put the other two on. And that's it. And I'm going to start doing a light box for this so I can start uh, putting SMDs for the uh, gauges back here in the back, which I uh, uh, cut out the existing gauge that you would have to paint in. And I bought some paper uh, gauges that just simply just go back there in the back. I did. I don't. Uh, it's, if you do something like this, it's not a good idea to take them off the paper. Just cut the paper out and just attach them back there with glue. Just like that. Just like I did. I mean, it looks it looks crappy in the back, but up here in the front, you know, 
How in the world would you know? Unless I told you. And so that's it. Here we are at Back in Action Model Collections. Um, that's about it. That's all I can give, and there's nothing else to give. So, until then, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started on um, get started on what I can do about this. That's just sitting here in my face. And uh, in the meantime, like, share, subscribe. Either way, it's appreciated. We'll talk to you later. And I'm out.